Neo Berry is probably the most skill-intensive chip in the entire game. It's very powerful, it only costs you a standard slot, but it requires button inputs and it requires a lot of finesse knowing which style to be using and how to be pulling it off correctly. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a folder that is built around Neo Variable. This was the second place um, Switch finalist uh, event that went down um, for the Beast Cup. This was made by Nonstop Mop, and let me tell you, it is quite a folder. Not only is it packing Neo Vary, but it also packs Muramasa. Both of these chips are pretty similar. Um, first of all, in previous Mega Man Battle Network games, they cost a Mega Slot. That's how powerful they are. Um, they are also both sword chips, of course, which means that the opponent is going to take double damage if they're Tengu. And they are both um, kind of limited in their range. So you really do um, want to make sure that you can build a folder around maybe keeping the opponent together um, so that they're not moving around so much. And that's exactly what this folder is. So before we get into these two chips, let's take a peek at the rest of Nonstop's folder here. We've got Elect Dragons that are very strong. Um, they do a big U-shape attack that cracks panels and makes it so that the opponent is not moving as much. Same goes with Magnum. What an amazing chip this is. It penetrates anti-damage and all the trap chips because it is a cursor. Um, even if you don't actually hit the opponent, just the ability to destroy an entire row or column is extremely powerful. Then we've got four area grabs and two panel grabs. Normally that's a little excessive, maybe not that excessive, but in this particular strategy, of course, we wanna make sure that we can put the opponent into a spot where we're gonna be able to hit with our powerful sword chips. And of course, we've also got grab revenge just in case the opponent um, starts off really aggressive in terms of grabbing their own um, panels on our side. We do have a one full cast that's gonna help us with tempo, make sure that we can grab and reselect new um, area grabs or make sure that we can restock um, our chips for more powerful uses. We've got a pretty classic defensive setup with our anti-damages, our invis and life aura. Now, missing from this folder is Sanctuary, right? Sanctuary is a very powerful chip. It is not in this folder. And the reason why is probably because this folder just wants to go maximum power and maximum pressure. Um, you want to constantly be putting the opponent on the backside, making them react to what you're doing. And a chip like Sanctuary is very good, um, but maybe a little too slow for this type of folder. So, um, our, finally, we're uh, rounding up with our Mega Chips. Of course, we got a Race Man Star, Judge Man Star, and Element Man Star. But we also have the EX and SP versions of Element Man. Um, of course, these are powerful toolbox chips that can break a wide variety of crosses. But the main reason that they are in this folder is for um, the yellow electric version. Kind of like Magnum, it's going to break an entire column three squares away from you. And it's going to deal um, a pretty solid amount of damage. And of course, there's Meter Knuckle. What can I say? A very powerful chip, a very good chip. And it combos very nicely with the area grabs and panel grabs. If we can get our opponent into a corner, we can make sure that the fists are going to be hitting um, much more likely uh, for maximum damage. So very good stuff all around. Now, I will say, Neo Vary and Muramasa, like I said, they're, they're very powerful. Muramasa caps at 500 damage. Um, the more damage you take, the stronger it becomes. Um, and then Neo Vary, it looks like it does 220 damage, but actually it does a lot more than that. It does double that at 440. There's two special commands that are very important to know. One is double life sword, and the other is um, kind of a cross divide looking um, X shape that's kind of like Colonel. Um, both of those will deal 440 damage. There's one last one as well, the Sonic Boom, that's just like a big wide attack. It's hard to dodge the opponent. It only does 220, but if you're ever in a position where the opponent's in the back row and you have no way to get forward, or um, maybe you just need to hit with a move that's really likely to hit, um, maybe the opponent's at low life, that's a pretty good way to go about it. Now I will say, this chip is, or this folder is super aggressive, right? No sanctuary as we brought up. The one bubble star, I admit, I'm not the biggest fan of. Sure, bubble star can combine with elect dragon for a lot of damage. It's also um, kind of hard to miss when it comes to chips like uninstall, which is cool. But I gotta tell you, um, I feel like the synergies just aren't that impressive because we're really trying to connect with these chips for maximum damage. And I don't think that we're too afraid of Heat Cross or Charge Cross to try and break the opponent's crosses. Um, to be honest with you, I would love an extra machine gun. This is um, a regular chip to make sure we can um, hit up those turn one dust cross that you often see from the Falls Are Players, as well as, of course, just being a good utility chip, being able to destroy anti-damage. I'd love a second one, because to be honest with you, one weakness with this folder, other than the lack of defense, is um, how awful it is if you can't actually connect with Neo Vary or Muramasa. It's really bad. Um, oftentimes I found in testing that this folder, um, would go up against, uh, maybe like a really untimely anti-damage or an untimely life aura when you're about to connect. Now, true, we only have one wind rack, but we can always go Tengu, right? Like, let's say we've got Muramasa or Neo Vary loaded up and ready to go. Um, 
If we see the opponent live for us, what we can do is go to our Tengu, select it, use our back B attack to gust um, the wind and blow out the life aura, and we won't lose these powerful chips, right? So that's a good option. Can't really do the same thing with anti-damage, right? We got to make sure that um, we are either not in beast out so that we can break the anti-damage um, with our charge shots, which kind of stinks because beast out is really good at connecting with Muramasa and Neoveri, but say what you will, that's how it is. Um, I think a second machine gun would be a lot better than um, the bubble star. That's just me. You know, I'm just a, just a lowly player. I'm not the second place finalist in a tournament of 48 people for the Switch. Wow, the Beast Cup was amazing. And I will also say, too, if you are looking to tweak this folder, because it is a very tough folder, not only is Neo very difficult to use in terms of the button inputs and the skill you've got to, um, you have to master in terms of memorizing them and putting them in quickly, I will tell you, too, Element Man EX and Element Man SP are also kind of hard to connect with. They cycle through a lot faster than just the regular Element Man, so... Um, yeah, definitely a very skill-intensive folder. Definitely a folder worthy of someone as talented and skilled as Nonstop Mop. Um, I will tell you another fun thing that you could do if you wanted a little more defense and um, a little more synergy with this exact strategy is Barrier 200. Maybe slotting in Barrier 200K or Barrier 200U because you um, can come with Life Aura. Obviously, they don't really combine that well with each other, but maybe the opponent's in Tengu and they blow it away. Who knows? Um, K is pretty cool, though, because you could... Um, if you were to toss in this uh, this chip, maybe instead of Element Man EX or SP, you could throw in um, an Erase Man EX or SP. Um, you could also tweak the Navi Customizer a bit to add in an extra Mega Chip to slot that in. That's just the thought that I have because, of course, if you're in a Barrier or a Life Aura and your opponent is Falzar, they are very, very incentivized to go into Tengu to blow it away for free, and then you can punish them really harshly with a double damage Neo Vary or Muramasa for a ton, and that is going to really, really um, spell the end of your opponents. Now, the Navi Customizer is very, very powerful. Take a look at the setup, you guys. Every single tile of the Navi Customizer is used. That is value. We've got um, our Charge Max, which is going to combo really nicely with three extra attack plus ones. That is a really nice way to make sure that even if our Muramasa and our Neo Berry do miss, that we still have some way to deal enough damage to close off the opponents. I will say with all of the zone controls we have with panel grabs and area grabs, going in a Tomahawk cross is really safe towards mid game or, um, or end game. Um, the Tomahawk swing is really hard to dodge with the Life Sword range. It deals a lot of damage. It doesn't flinch the opponent, right? or I'm sorry, it doesn't blink the opponent um, into getting iframes. So you can combo it up with other attacks and um, it's just a solid uh, amount of damage just in general. Um, also, Tengu's not bad either. Uh, if you can get the opponent locked into the back row, or maybe there's holes with Magnums and um, Elect Dragons that are keeping them together, the Wind Rack um, attack is really fast, and um, it also does not uh, flash the opponent into taking iframes. So that's really cool. We've got Custom 2 and Custom 1, Maximum Custom, which means we're basically always going to see area grabs and panel grabs. That's a really important part of this folder. We do have our value rush and beats. These are really annoying chips in versus only, like the game says, that are very, very powerful and super annoying. Uh, we love super armor. What a staple. HP plus 400 is solid. And then bug stop to make sure that we're not being affected by any of the glitches that could be going down. Um, yeah, really solid Navi customizer. I will say once again, a little frail. A little frail. If you're like me and you enjoy tanking up, um, there's probably other ways to go about it. I would really recommend um, throwing in a very 200. But hey, let's go ahead and check it out. And let's also see um, Neo Vary in action. Let's make sure that we can actually show it off so that folks at home know um, just how to pull it off. All right, folks, we are fighting Aquaman. And let me tell you, this is a pretty good position. Uh, of course, um, Meteor Knuckle and Neo Vary are both N. This is a really magical Christmas land scenario. Obviously, a real opponent is never going to let you go in the corner without a fight, especially not with these two chips. But I'm going to go ahead and show you really quick um, one of the commands. We're going to be holding the A button. Here, I'll show you as soon as we load it up. We hold the A button as we um, try to input Neo Vary. And we're going to go down, right, up. Super easy. A lot easier than uh, double life sword, as you'll see. And that's what happens. Look at that damage. A ton of damage right there. All right, folks, remember, we're holding the A button. And this one's going to be up B, down B, up B. You got you to gotta type it in really fast. It's definitely not easy. There it is. Double life sword. Not an easy one to pull off. And finally, the last one is going to be our Sonic Boom. All right, and finally, the last one is just going to be left, right, left, B. Like I said, a little more fringe, but it has its uses. And there you have it. We bullied a nerd.
<laughs> so folks, let me tell you, there are a lot of uh, really positive things to say about that folder that Nonstop Mop used. What do you guys think? Uh, do you think it needs more defenses? Do you think uh, Bubble Star is fine? I'm super curious what you got to say. And as always, do let me know. I'm reading every single comment. We've got a lot of things to talk about when it comes to the Gregor champions and all sorts of new tech that's going on. One video that I want to work on is Jargon. Do you guys have any jargon that you hear that you'd like to know what that means? Please do let us know. We stream every single night. Can't wait to see you later, Net Battlers, and have a great one.